What up guys, welcome to the lightning show. Today we're doing a Dutch 504 tips and tricks and I'm going to be teaching you how to take out vehicles today. As you know, vehicles are really, really annoying in this game. They can run you over and they run away and they, they can keep spawning killing you by going around and around and so what this video is going to help you is um, it's going to help you on picking the best weapons and best class to take them out and it's going to be the cheapest way too and it's going to be available for everyone because you are using militia gear and what you want to go down to is weapons and then what you want to buy is a swarm launcher and the forge gun and what these two guns actually does is the high damage so they can easily take out the vehicles or anything that you want but however the swarm launcher cannot lock onto vehicles so you're gonna need a secondary to it. So just pick anything you want as your secondary. And then what you now you need to do is go to drop suit. And drop suit, of course, you're gonna need a heavy frame. So buy your heavy frame first. And then buy anything else that you want for your your um swarm launcher. So now we're gonna to go to fittings. I already made these already, so you can copy them if you want, you can tweak it a bit if you want, you can make your own using those guns, it's all up to you. But here's my setup for the forge gun. I'm use I'm just using basic simple things and if you want to see exactly what it is, just look to the side of what I'm using. I'm using a forge gun, submachine gun, locust grenade, shield recharger, armor repair. And if, this is how much it costs, it costs me around almost 3000 per death if I die with it which is not that much now we go to our swarm launcher I'm using a swarm launcher machine gun submachine gun locust grenade nanite injector a light weapon modifier a shield recharger and a shield extender and this cost me around 3000 so you should be good this is real cheap I mean of course it adds up as you die but if you're dying like multiple times, um, I highly doubt you're going to die more than 15 times because I know my subscribers are all extremely good. So we're, we're going to go into some gameplay now. I'm going to show you exactly how to use them properly because if you don't use them properly, you're going to get taken out. Now we're going to start off with the forge gun. The forge gun is an extremely powerful weapon that you have to power up, charge up all the way before you, you can fire its um, energy. But while you're charging, you're completely defenseless until you release your, the trigger when it's fully charged. If you release it halfway, it won't shoot. But when you release it, you can also kill random infantry at the same time instead of just vehicle and tank. However, when you're going up against a jeep like this one, you may have a little bit of trouble because you can hit it and it won't be a one-shot kill. So keep that in mind. Now the forge gun is my favorite when you're going up against tanks up close because the forge gun is actually very powerful and the tanks are very slow moving so it's a much easier target plus they're much wider and much taller than normal vehicles so it's pretty much a sitting duck for you so you can easily take out those tanks sometimes this forge gun will take more than three shots to kill sometimes it might even take you four to five shots maybe Sometimes even slick shot, depending on what kind of tank that they have. And yes, sometimes tanks are, you can call them overpowered, but this is one of the best ways for you to take them out rather than calling your own tank and then getting wrecked from their overpowered tank. So this is really a good option if you want to keep your distance and just shoot them. However, as you know, there's no lock on, so you have to manually aim. You'll get the aim eventually, but it really comes with practice. So normal vehicles they're really easy to destroy so you don't have to worry about them but if you really need to lock on what you need to use is a swarm launcher the swarm launcher is really simple to use if you want to take people out from a distance in vehicles all you have to do is lock on wait for that red outline and as soon as you see that red outline you let go of the trigger I believe it is R1 for default but if you have it something different then it might not be it so it's the it's the firing button so sometimes you might be not be able to take out dropship like I am right here because they can maneuver. Dropship are one of the hardest one, but 
there's much better options than a forge gun because the forge gun it takes a while to charge and drop ship they're going to be flying out the way so your swarm launcher is going to be the best bet for you to take out drop ship now as you can see here shooting from a distance is very very convenient for a swarm launcher and when you're in trouble like or in a pinch you can switch out to your secondary but unfortunately i get taken out right here but if you have a good secondary you should be able to take them out another thing i like about the swarm launcher is you can take out enemies installation from a distance as you see i'm doing right here i can take out the supply depot so they can stop camping there and noobing it up over there so it's really simple for you to take out installation it takes almost your whole entire swarm launcher depending on, on what you're shooting at but at in the end it's really worth it what i advise you to do when using a swarm launcher is actually hide in the elevated position so you can see the map and after you see them all you have to do is lock in and then as soon as you lock in you, you can easily take them out see these guys have no idea i'm up here and they're about to give me a free kill and who doesn't want free kills i mean come on it's it's really simple as you see vehicles they can't really escape especially those cars they can't escape that well if your enemy loves running away the swarm launcher is the best thing for you because they really can't escape it unless they're in a drop ship and they have crazy piling maneuver i want to thank y'all for watching if you haven't seen my other video please check them out i'll leave it in the description or annotation below and i really want to thank y'all for watching because i know y'all been begging me to do dust 514 for some time now so I thank you for that and as always leave a comment, subscribe, or give this video a like if you like it and give me some constructive criticism on the bottom in the comments because any, any tips that I get, I can help y'all by putting out better content. So leave a comment on what you want to see or what you want me to do different and again I'd like to thank y'all for watching and we'll see you next time on The Lightning Show.